When starting a business, sometimes we can allow all the what ifs and the things we don't know how to do discourage us even before we begin the entrepreneurial walk. Maybe it's lack of knowledge or the fear of not having everything just right with the business that's holding us back. Well, I'm Michael Ayers, founder of BasisForSuccess.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how everyone can access the PhD that they already have to allow it to work for them. Yes, even you, so stay tuned. Now, you may be wondering, what is he talking about? PhD? Okay, I'm not talking about a doctorate degree. When I'm referring to PhD, I mean that everyone has a passion, a hobby, and a dream that they want to come to pass. So everyone, in a sense, has a PhD. Now, sometimes we may not even know what our PhDs are. For those that do know, you may not know how to use it to advance the kingdom of God and to use your PhD in your daily lives to benefit you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find out what your passions, hobbies, and dreams are and how you can use your PhD in your spiritual life to help benefit those around you and that everything you do. God showed me and I would like to share this with you. So to start off, I need you to know three words, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Knowledge is having the facts. Wisdom is knowing how to apply those facts to your life. And lastly, understanding is comprehension of those facts that you want to apply to your life. So an example would be knowledge, knowing what the word of God says about your life. Wisdom, applying what the word of God says to your life and in your life. And understanding is knowing what the word of God can do for your life. Get it? Just to let you know, this would include some scriptures to show you how God, through his word, was able to teach me how to use my PhD for my business. Don't get overwhelmed trying to remember these scriptures. I have a PDF available at basisforsuccess.com with all these wonderful scriptures for you for free. Just click the link below and download it. So, let's get started. How do we get this knowledge and understanding from God to help us with our PhD? You need to get wisdom. Remember, wisdom is applying God's word to your life. The first scripture comes from Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. The second scripture says from Proverbs 4, verse 5 and 7, Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. So let's break these two scriptures down. The first one says, lean on into our own understanding. While this one over here says, get understanding. Two types of understanding. There is our understanding and there's God understanding. Now, if you continue to look at this verse over here, it says, get wisdom. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19, it says, For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Now, there is basically showing you that there's two types of wisdom. There is our wisdom and there's God's wisdom. And God is saying, don't get the world's wisdom, get godly wisdom. So as you can see, God is telling us to get his wisdom and to get his understanding. But now, at the end of Proverbs 4, verse 7, he says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. So, now the question is, how do we get this godly wisdom? Now, there are three criteria to get godly wisdom. The first is you have to be saved. In John 14, verse 16 through 18, it says, And I will pray to the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Now, God is telling you that he will send you the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit. The spirit of truth, the world cannot receive it because they have not been saved. When you get saved, you are sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise. The second thing to gain godly wisdom is 
to ask God through prayer. And you can see this in James 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. And also in Proverbs 2 verse 6 says, for the Lord gives wisdom. So it's basically saying you have to ask God for wisdom and to direct your paths. Ask God how to create your business. Ask God how to market your business. Ask God what direction you should take your business in and he will give you direction. The way you ask God is through prayer. Now number three, reading and meditating on God's word. Bible, in Matthew 4 verse 4 it says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. See, God's word is alive. It's just not words written on a page. The scriptures even say in 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Meditate on God's word you will gain insight into God's mind and heart by studying scripture and meditating on his truth. Difficult decisions become easier to make when God is the one guiding you. By incorporating these three things, being saved, praying, and reading the word of God, you will get the godly wisdom that God desires for you. It will help you find your PhD and know how to use them to benefit your life spiritually, mentally, and financially by helping you and guiding you with your amazing online business. In Proverbs 3, verse five through six, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Would you like more spiritual insight or training on creating your amazing online business? Go ahead over to basisforsuccess.com and sign up for my free seven part online training course. Also. Don't forget to subscribe right here and be sure to check out the next video and remember that success is up to you. Peace.